Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Dragon Ball games for the GBA. The first one, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, is a fantastic game, and not just gameplay wise, but it manages to cramp into the 15 levels many of the key moments of Goku's childhood. Up from when he meets Bulma, to the fight with the Red Ribbon Army, up to the fight with Piccolo. The game isn't just a generic side scroller, but it gets better and better the more you play. You get generic enemies, it's true, but you get unique and interesting enemies too, like Piccolo Sunderlings or Red Ribbon Army Soldiers. Also the gameplay is pretty varied, having not just side-scrolling levels, but Nimbus flying levels and complicated levels with multiple pathways and secrets. And you also get one-on-one -on -one boss fights too. Also, Goku has a nice handful of moves that all look and feel cool. You get multiple characters at the end and you can fight those characters one on one. It's one of my favorite games on the GBA. I deeply recommend this game. Dragon Ball GT Transformation is in the style of a normal beat'em up and even if it doesn't innovate the genre, it packs some fun. You play with three characters. Goku, Trunks and Pan, and each one has its own unique set of moves and special key attacks. Oh, and the title of the game is Transformation, as adult Goku is turned back into a child and has to retrieve the Dragon Balls again to get back to normal. And at the end of the game you can see Goku transform into Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker, but the boss fight isn't as epic as the transformation. Overall, it's a good game, with lots to offer in content, even if the gameplay mo is mostly stereotypical. And kind of lousy. Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors is my favorite Dragon Ball game on the GBA, and one of my favorite fighting games on the console. There are 13 playable characters, the combat system is awesome, everything about it shouts epic when you play it. Whether it is a punch you throw, or a key attack you make. But I have to admit that in later battles you will rely mostly on key attacks, if you're like me, as your main source of attack, because the close range fights have a high chance of you losing. And aside from the epic battle system you get, you also get multiple stories, and all of them are interesting. Most of the characters have a personal story, so you get into it and explore it. It's a game that offers so much and it's so well made that I will replay it anytime. Ju just try it. Ju just try it and see how and see for yourself how fantastic this game is. Dragon Ball Taiketsu feels cheap and looks cheap. You get 15 playable characters and 10 ugly battle arenas. It has no story, but it has a tournament mode where you fight seven random opponents, a practice mode a time challenge and an endurance mode, where you fight enemies till you lose. The game feels rushed. It's a pretty bad one, but you can spot that from the video f yourself too, without me telling you this. Dragon Ball Z collectible car game is a car game after the trading car game of Dragon Ball Z. As you can spot from the video, I don't know how to play, but I've read a review. And the reviewer says that the game is okay. Not good, not bad, but okay. It's a mixed bag of both good and bad things. So if you are into stuff like this, just know that the game exists. Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku is an action role-playing game that manages to cram the entire Saiyan saga into one game. But even if it sounds promising, don't get your hopes up. It's a pretty lousy RPG. You play as Goku and everything is pretty straightforward. Character interactions aren't as plenty as the genre might imply and the level designs are horrible. You've seen other GBA games on this channel and you saw what the GBA is capable of. Well, this game is ugly and dull. I don't recommend it to you. And there isn't just one game, there are actually two Legacy of Goku games. And the second Legacy of Goku game is the same as the first one. Still dull, still lousy and still playing. 
And not only this, but after they made two dull games, they made another one in the same style. They made Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. And it's a dull and plain experience as the other ones. And one premise of the game isn't a good idea to start with. You get some one ton boots and armbands to slow you down so that you are not overpowered. But with time you will fight easier and easier, making the game easier as you progress. Hard, harder at the beginning, because it's not hard to begin with, but harder. So it's harder at the beginning and easier and more easier the more you play, which is the opposite of how it should be. And about the legacy of Goku, to that now plays in the video, you already know. It's the same story as with the first legacy of Goku game. Okay, so this was my opinion, but as Max Morgan says, I was way too subjective. Even if I didn't like it, the game should get more recognition. Comparing the three games, you can see progress. And as Max Morgan says, they went the extra mile in developing the following games. So even if Legacy of Goku 1 was dull and linear, Legacy of Goku 2 and Boost Fury are improved. I mean, if the first one was linear, these two have free roam. Legacy of Goku 2 and Boost Fury have free roam, and you can fly around and get transformations. You, you, you can transform into Super Saiyan, and you can play with multiple characters. For a GBA, it's amazing what they cramped into this small cartridge. And according to forums, it's amazing how accurate the games can be to the anime. And for the next part, I'm going to read what Max said, as I never finished the last two games. I mean, I've played big chunks of them, but didn't finish them as they weren't my taste. I, I didn't like them. So, even if the story was better, they went way more in depth this time around in adapting the Cell Saga and telling a more complete story with better character interactions than they did in the first game. And they even squeezed in a bonus character with a gag alternative, ending for post game, which they absolutely did not have to do. So yeah, they really went the extra mile when developing Legacy of Goku 2 and Boo's Fury. And I'm sorry for not giving it the praise it deserves. Just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that it's a bad game. And my review should have been more objective. And I I'm, I'm sorry for the first review, but yeah, that's why I'm redoing the video and re-uploading it now. Oh, and Max, thank you. Thank you for the comment. Well, when I saw your comment and how polite you were, I just couldn't, couldn't not remake the video. Thank you, you were so polite and, and you, you didn't, you, you had that constructive type of critic. Not insulting, but just seeing your point. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. 